Okay, now we're going to show you how to cut a basic window mat. First thing you need is a slip mat. A slip mat goes underneath your cutter bar, and it's what the blade goes halfway into when it cuts through your mat. When cutting a window mat, you're always going to cut with a finished side down, and then the slip mat is going to give you the clean precision edge with a new blade cut in your opening. So we have our, our slip mat inserted into place. We bring our window mat up just parallel to the edge of our cutting blade. And we insert our blade, and we confirm our blade is just penetrating our slip mat. About half the thickness of the slip mat. We don't want to cut all the way through the slip mat, but we have to penetrate the slip mat to get a good cut on the mat. Okay, now to cut window, basic window mat, we need our margin guide. We're going to adjust our margin guide to two and a half. A basic mat means all three sides are the same side. So they're going to be a two and a half inch space. So our margin guide two and a half, our bottom guide to two and a half, and our upper guide to two and a half. Now take your mat board, finish side down. Place against your square edge and against your, your guide. Lower cutting blade. Bring cutter head assembly until start of cut finger touches edge of mat. To press cut completely down, release start of cut finger off of that guide. Reform cut. Release blade, push up. Raise cutter assembly, rotate 90 degrees. Push against guide, lower blade down. That start of finger cut, touch edge of blade, edge of mat. Rotate 90 degrees, perform one more time. Press start of finger cut until it touches edge of mat. Pull bat blade down, perform cut, release, raise guide, pull out. And voila, look at that perfect, perfect, beautiful window mat. Okay, now I'm going to show you cutting unequaled borders. Unequaled borders, usually our mats have a little bit stronger at the bottom, or for design purposes, it moved to one side or the other. The easiest way to do that in the very beginning is always do a layout on the back of your board. It's the simplest, foolproof way. After you've practiced and you've done these hundreds of times, you probably won't need to do this template anymore. But for right now, use the template. Now that we've drawn our template on the back of our mat board, we're going to notice our start of a cut's at two and a half. It's two and a half over, three and a half down. So your start of cut's two and a half, your margin guide's two and a half, and your bottom cut's at three and a half. Now I'll set those. Top guide, two and a half. Side guide, two and a half. Bottom gu guide, three and a half. Now I raise my cutting assembly. Place my mat, window mat in place, lower cutting assembly. Make finger touch edge of mat. Just press blade, cut. Raise blade. Now this is going to be a two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. So all three guides need to be at two and a half. So I adjust my end guide at two and a half. Insert mat board back in. Lower mat board, I mean lower cutter head. Just press finger, get into cut, place the cut, go to into cut, raise up. Now we're going to have three and a half, two and a half, two and a half. So I need to change my top cutting to three and a half. Place my mat, window mat back in, square, lower cutting assembly, position, cut. Complete cut, lift. Now I got two and a half, three and a half, two and a half. So this goes two and a half on the top cutter, three and a half on your guide, side guide, and two and a half on our bottom guide. 